Hi guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another tractor review. Now, if I was to say big pulling tractor, what springs to mind for you? Well, for me, it's big AR John Deere's 8000 series John Deere's, or a Case Magnum. And today's review, the Case Magnum 380 CVX. Boasting a whopping 380 horsepower plus boost, which takes it to about 435 horsepower. There's not much you can't do with this tractor. And for a standard British arable farm, this is plenty. So CVX then, what does that mean? Well, constantly variable. So there's no gears, you just choose the speed you want to go. Go in between fields or a bit of road work, you just flick it on 50k and the tractor will do the rest. Field work, cultivating, stick it at 12k, 13k, whatever job you're doing, the engine and the transmission will constantly talk to each other to maintain that speed that you have set. This helps fuel economy and driver fatigue. This tractor is ginormous, just for a size reference. The bonnet is taller than me. It is huge. We'll start at the front then. Front linkage. This can lift about five ton. Pretty decent lift capacity for some front tillage equipment, front cultivation equipment, or just a whopping great front weight will go on the front of this. You can also have front PTO fitted going onto the grill. The surface area of this grill, there's a lot of cooling going on. There's a lot of airflow through there. We've got front suspension. Front tires are a 650 by 60. Trellis boards onto the right hand side then. This is a pretty big exhaust. There's a lot of emissions components going on in here. Rear tires then, obviously trellis bogs. Huge grade 900s to get that traction with 430 horsepower. You need some decent tires. On to the back then. Rear linkage then, lift capacity of 11 ton, just shy of 11 ton. That is a ginormous lift capacity. The rear draw bar looks like something off the back of a quad track or a pivot steer deer. That is a pretty heavy duty draw bar and pin setup going on there. Rear remotes then, uh, spools. We have six on this machine, all electronic, and the output of these spools can be up to 282 litres per minute. That is a whopping amount of oil you can generate from the back end of this tractor. We have a pretty handy adjustable top link for this. Always good to have one of them. And then not forgetting isobus air brakes because it's still a conventional shaped tractor. Most things come with air brakes nowadays, but if you are stuck, you can put this on a grain cart. I would. All the powers. That would be awesome. A Magnum on a 18 ton grain cart trailer. We have some pretty handy buttons on the fenders. PTO. I believe this switch is powered to the hydraulic top link. And then obviously your hitch switches. Looks like there is more room for switches up there. You can add other ones in. Onto the left hand side then, you've got your add blue fill and your diesel fill. And we have a pretty impressive light package all round. I want to have a look under the bonnet now. So we have a ginormous cooling package going on here. So we've got your aircon rad, your main rad. Up the top here we have our intercooler. That's why we need all that grill space. We've got transmission oil dipstick. Here we have our coolant. Here we have our engine oil dipstick. Have a look at the size of the turbo on this. It's what they call a VGT turbo, variable geometry. So that's how you get your 430 brake from your 380. The vanes and all that will change inside, increase airflow, pressures, all that sort of thing. And that's how we get our boost. Inside then. Pretty familiar case setup, as in AFS screen and armrest, multi controller handle, all very familiar things to me being in a Puma or a Maxim. So, transitioning from smaller tractors to this one, it doesn't feel too strange in here, it feels pretty comfortable. It essentially almost feels like jumping in a Puma, just triple the size. So, like I said, Micro controller handle, we all know about that. AFS screen, we all know about that. Six spools on the armrest. It's a lot of spools. Very handy. 
PTO, all your usual buttons, diff lock, four wheel drive, rev settings. We have a sensitivity button here for aggressiveness or start stopping. All your usuals underneath, flow rates, drop rates, all that sort of thing. Over in the corner, we have our aircon, some window wiper controls, beacons. All pretty self explanatory things. You look at it, you can see what it does. The screen I've covered on a Maxim video, so I won't go into detail with that. Pretty self explanatory. And then obviously on the side pillar, same sort of setup again as the Maxim. Speed, settings, temperatures, pressures, all that sort of thing. Again, it's pretty self explanatory. You look at it, buttons of pictures on. It's, it's nice, it's easy, very user friendly. Up the top here, radio, a nice storage area. I mean, there's plenty of storage in this tractor. Another bit of storage in the back here. Good passenger seat. I really like the steering adjustment. You can really fine tune that to set it where you want. And the seat is lovely. I feel like there's some back support here. There's some side support. Plenty of positions to adjust it. You've got your adjustment on the armrest. You can really fine tune this cab to how you want to sit in it. You think you're in this for 15 hours a day. You've got to really enjoy being in here. This particular Magnum, full GPS setup, RTK. So we're talking of an accuracy of like down to two, three centimeters of overlap. So let's say you had a cultivator on the back, your one run going down, another run coming back up. You will only be interfering with that other run, give or take that sort of distance, which is it's amazing the GPS technology nowadays. See what it drives like. So CVX transmission, push it in the forward and hit the go pedal, simple as that. I'm set in F3 and I've set F3 to 50k. So I push that pedal down, I will hit 50k. It just pulls. Two other speed settings you can set to whatever you want. So you could have a, a headland turn speed, you could have a field speed. It's so, so diverse to how you can set this tractor up. I will explain a little bit of history to this tractor and why it's so special. Obviously, there is a new Magnum coming out, the AFS Connect with all the, all the new bonnet, the facelift and all that sort of thing. So hopefully we've got that to look forward to. This Magnum is the last of its kind. This was the last, 10 coming off the production line of the tier 4b stage 4b whatever you want to call it this model come out in 2015 2014 and this is the last of its kind before that new magnum afs comes out so essentially this is the best magnum of its kind you can buy for a big tractor that's that's got a handy turning circle on it Very easy to use. You have got forwards and backwards on the armrest. I'm just naturally going for the left hand shuttle. That is so smooth and that has just gone off like a rocket. Woo! 50K, just like that. I'm not surprised with nearly 430 horsepower. It's nice and quiet in here. It's not too bumpy. Cab suspension, front suspension takes a lot of the bumps out. Really good visibility, massive mirrors. I like the mirrors. I can see a lot. I can see all around the cab. Blind spots down by the exhaust. The exhaust is big, but I can see past it. Front left corner, front right corner. There's not many places I can't see, which is good. For such a big tractor, usually you can't see a lot. Didn't touch the brakes once then. Transmission just did all that. So this is kind of a special Magnum then. It being the last 10 off the production line, this is the perfected tier 4b 
as in any niggles it had in early years have been done any updates any edit software anything like that has been done so if you're gonna buy a Magnum this is probably one to buy I hope you guys enjoyed the review unfortunately fortunately it is another case I do try and get as many different makes and models as I can but when I get offered one I don't pass on the opportunity especially a, a last of its kind so I'm looking forward to the new AFS Connect Magnum hopefully that comes by the end of the harvest so we can see it in the fields working but I'm really looking forward to that one so until next time guys bye for now